Hey, you guys, I'm just jumping on really quick with a quick word of encouragement. I want to share with all of you. And as you can already see in the description below, there is purpose in your singleness. Your singleness is not in vain. God is working behind the scenes to bring it all together. He is working on your heart. He is working on your mind. Not only is he working on your heart and he's working on your mind, he's working on your kingdom husbands. He's preparing you for this God-ordained marriage that he has for you. Your singleness is not in vain. God is pruning you. He's refining you. He's stretching you. He's teaching you to trust him. He's teaching you to walk by faith. You're building your relationship with the Lord. See, your relationship with the Lord has to be first and foremost. Jesus needs to be number one in your life. Jesus needs to be your first love. See, God is not going to bring your kingdom spouse back into your life. And he's not first in your life. God has to be number one. God has to be first. Your relationship with the Lord has to be tight. And he's preparing you to be the kingdom wife that he has called you to be. Your waiting is not in vain. God is preparing you for the work that he has for you to do and your kingdom spouse to do in your kingdom marriage. And if you take a good look at your life and you look back on where you were when God first revealed to you who your kingdom spouse was and the person you are today, it should be completely different. It should be like night and day. I can honestly look back and say now that if God had brought me my kingdom husband right then and there, I would not have been ready. There was things about myself that God needed to change. There was things about myself that I didn't even realize was a problem that God had to reveal to me. There was some pruning that needed to be done. There was refining that needed to be done. There was some crushing that needed to be done. I had a lot of pride in my heart. I had a lot of selfishness in my heart. I had things about myself that I didn't even realize was a problem. But the Holy Spirit had to reveal those things to me. And I was in the mindset that, you know, I was ready, that it was just my kingdom spouse that I was waiting on, that I was prepared for this kingdom marriage. But I was only fooling myself. And now I can look back and honestly say I was not ready then. My mind was, was not where it needed to be. My heart was not where it needed to be. My relationship with Jesus was not where it needed to be. God had to work on me and God is still working on me. Because the reality of it is, if I was ready, then God would bring into fruition his will for my life. And he would bring my kingdom marriage into full manifestation. Now, I believe that this is my season for manifestation. I believe that the preparation process is coming to an end and God is beginning to bring me into the manifestation of his promise for me. And maybe some of you may be feeling the same way that God has prepared you, that you've been through the separation season. You've been through the isolation season. You've been through the preparation season and now you're ready to receive the promises of God. Your singleness is not in vain. 
Don't rush the process. Allow God to finish the work in your life. Allow God to finish the work in your kingdom husband's life. You don't want to rush into an unfinished relationship. You want to be fully prepared. You want your kingdom husband to be fully prepared. And and that's not saying everything is going to be perfect, that you're always going to have things about yourself that God is going to have to work on. And your kingdom spouse is going to have things about himself that God is going to have to continue to work on. But the bulk of the work, the majority of the work God is doing in your season of singleness. Stay encouraged. Don't give up. Allow God to finish the work that he's doing in your heart and in your mind. Because although you may feel that you're ready, there may be areas in your life that God needs to continue to refine and reveal to you. Use this time to build your relationship with the Lord. Making sure that your prayer life is where it needs to be. Making sure that your devotional life with the Lord is where it needs to be. Making sure that you have everything around you in order. This is a time that you need to be preparing. And know that in God's perfect timing, he's going to bring everything into full manifestation. I just wanted to jump on you guys and just leave those few words of encouragement for you. Your singleness is not in vain. Your waiting is not in vain. Don't try to get into any other relationship because you feel like, well, hey, God is not ready to bring me into my kingdom marriage, so I might as well be dating. I might as well be talking to other guys. No, remove the distractions. Focus on Jesus. Focus on your relationship with Jesus. Let him be Lord and Savior of your life. He is your first husband. And when he, when you're ready, God is going to bring you into your marriage promise. I love you guys. And I will see you the next time the Lord sends me back. Bye.